All right, so good morning or afternoon. I'm not sure when we're gonna watch this. This is my house. And I just wanna show you something, a couple things. Number one, all of the plants that you're looking at here in this uh, little gardeny area, there used to be a tree there, we had to cut it down our native pollinator plants something we'll get into more in the next couple weeks but these specifically are all from seed bombs that you made as fourth graders during the four or five play those seed bombs we gave out um, all of these plants came from those seed bombs which is awesome totally worked but what i really want to show you is this little section that little section right there which is not very big maybe 10 feet by 6 feet wide is um, purposely planted with milkweed now there is a few other kinds of native pollinator plants in there but essentially it's mostly common milkweed and there was some butterfly milkweed which is died off just yesterday I came out to mow the yard and as I looked at some of the leaves I noticed these bite marks and I also noticed that which is frass that is uh, monarch larva droppings or poop and it gave me an indication that we had monarch larva and as I moved around I could see that, yes, indeed, not only were there some monarchs, there are lots of monarchs. And I've got maybe 10 or 15 plants here. And as I move through the garden, and I notice that is all frass from a monarch, larva. And as I poked around and looked underneath some of these leaves, I was amazed at how many larvae that we actually had growing here. So if we poke around, there's some more frass there, we're going to see that we have lots of larvae growing here. Now I see there's another one, and again more examples of frass. More examples that the monarchs are actually eating the leaves because you can see the bite marks through there. And I counted just yesterday. Let's see how many we can find today. Oh, this is super cool. Holy cow. That, let's see if we can see it. There it is. I'm gonna flip around. Try not to get motion sickness here. This is a monarch that is going into J form. That's something we're gonna talk about. That is the form that they go into right before they turn into a chrysalis. And there are many sizes of monarchs. Look at that one. There's my finger for comparison, how big it is. I counted out here no less than 20 or 30 yesterday. There's another one. Let's see, it's my first time using this thing. I'm not sure I can zoom. If I look at this plant here, there's another one. There's another one behind it. Look at that big boy. Or girl. We'll find out after they come out. There is. Uh, and find it on the camera. Oops. I'll just go around this way. Go sideways. Boom. There's another one right there. Coming around. There's another one right there. Another one right there. Another one right there. Sometimes they're very small. If I flip over a leaf, there's another one next to that one. Over here. There's another one, and um, let's see what else we can find some more. 
They are very, oh, there's one. Um, can I see it on the screen? Yep, there's one down there. You can see some of them have been tiny. Some of them have been rather large. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. And I'm only showing you a few of the plants that I have planted. And this patch is not very big. But one of the things we're going to talk about is the decline in monarch populations, mainly being due to habitat destruction. Places where milkweed would normally grow are being destroyed, either for you know development of houses or businesses or roads, or people are spraying insecticides or pulling out milkweed plants because that um, they want to put in something what's called like an ornamental flower. So ornamental meaning it's from somewhere else in the world, but it looks pretty, versus native, which is it naturally grows in Missouri. So just this little tiny patch here. Oops. And I've got easily 30 to 40 larvae growing here. So just wanted to show you that and um, we'll talk more about this in class. Bye.